Hello everyone, and you know me, I'm John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, in my humble abode. We're going to do another Ghost Letters Report video. Pardon me. While we're on the topic today of Fukushima and TEPCO, I might as well light up a smoke. Something I, I don't do so often when I'm making videos these days. Now, why would I be smoking when talking about the Fukushima disaster? Well, because as we approach three years anniversary of this disaster, steel. Not one person has been tried or convicted and had to legally take blame for this disaster. And that is no more clear than a recent decision by the courts here in Japan by prosecutors to drop all charges against TEPCO and government officials for being legally responsible for the disaster. Now, some 15,000 people whose homes were hit by radiation and farms from the stricken plant filed a criminal, criminal complaint back in 2012 against the Japanese government and officials of TEPCO. They're claiming extreme damages for their lives, the ability to have a prosperous life, and their entire existence destroyed due to this disaster. But the prosecutors in September of this year decided, no, we're not going to do anything. So these people appealed this to a committee that can force prosecutors to take action. And again, prosecutors decided, no, you know what, this time we're completely dropping this. Why? Well, they say that, well, no one really died from this. And besides... TEPCO and the Japanese government could have never predicted this type of accident. That's very, very telling. Considering that Japan has a long historical record of very powerful earthquakes and very large tsunamis. So there is precedent to predict something like that. And despite the fact that more than one occasion, TEPCO has admitted officials in TEPCO, some of them high ranking, yeah, we failed to present the, prevent this disaster. We were not properly prepared. The euphemism I like to use is, use is an inf insufficient safety culture. Despite that, no charges against anyone for this. Despite the fact that there's been more than one report released that confirms that the Fukushima nuclear disaster was in fact man-made and could have been prevented. Despite the fact that there were clear negligence due to fear of being sued like this on a part of TEPCO. Despite all these things, despite the fact that there have been hundreds and hundreds of deaths related to stress and other problems related to the Fukushima nuclear disaster, despite these things, no charges, 
drop it completely. Now why would these prosecutors decide to ignore all of this? And drop all charges. Well, it has to do with the current political environment here in Japan. Japan is going to in a very far right direction, in a fascist fascist direction, which I've mentioned many times. Shinzo Abe, the current Prime Minister of Japan, has made it clear that nuclear power is on the energy ag energy agenda. And he is going to push through. Everything from wanting fast tracking of um, restarts of nuclear reactors to um, people in the government saying we should ignore any delays, any warnings about the reactor safeties to get them restarted. And we also know that corruption is institutionalized here in Japan. I'll put a link about that. Of course, several other links as well in the description box of this video on YouTube. So if you're watching this video from another place on the uh, internet that's not YouTube, go to the YouTube page, look at the description box and get the access to those links. So yeah, these prosecutors are not going to do anything because their job is potentially at stake. For charging TEPCO, any officials in TEPCO or the Japanese government for being responsible for ruining these people's lives and taking everything from them from an event that was clearly preventable. So here we are, three years on. Nuclear radiation still puking out of Fukushima. And no one is made to be legally responsible for what it has done to the lives of these people. It's beyond sickening. But not unexpected. But the fight's not over to try to get people, someone to take legal responsibility for this. There are other numerous lawsuits and civil lawsuits on tap against officials in TEPCO and the government. So we shall see how the future holds in the next few years. Will any justice ever be had for the victims of this disaster? Till next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. If this, if this is the first time you've seen me, please subscribe. You get videos like this and lots of other nice things. I'm sure you enjoy. So this is me in Tokyo. Check it out.